Things are really messy around here. I have not been maintaining any sense of cleanliness in the house or on my body. There's just too much to do on the bus. I was bequeathed by my father-in-law, Bob the Carpenter, a biscuit joiner. It's a really cool tool. And I'm gonna use the biscuit joiner to attach this top. Can't really screw into the edge of the plywood. It just expands. Biscuit joiner, let's do it. Next part's kind of nerve wracking because if these things don't line up perfectly, I'm kind of screwed. But here goes nothing. With Cervantes on my knee, I got pulled over for philosophizing in Memphis, Tennessee. Well, I got it to fit. This particular tool you have to be pretty precise with, and that's not something I've really learned how to do. So I omitted like one on each side. So there's three instead of four, which I think is fine because really all this is doing is staying in place. But I got it on. Now this isn't what our finished look was going to look like. This wall paneling is going to be pretty time consuming. As you can see, our frame rail, we didn't want to lose any more interior space, so we left this without furring it another half an inch or a quarter of an inch. And so what we have to do is we have to take our half inch plywood and trim it. All right, so I'm about to pull into Odyssey Woodworks. It's basically my first time doing finished carpentry. I don't have any experience and I don't have most of the tools and everything's just taking me forever. So I'm looking for a shortcut. I'm gonna get them to cut my plywood. I need them to cut a slot into it so they can accommodate that metal channel that runs the length of the bus that's just a little bit too bumped out in front of the fairing strips. And we're gonna make a dado cut on that table saw and then I'm gonna have that nice cut. While they're doing it, they're gonna cut the top close to the height and I'm gonna do like the, the finished trimming because nothing there is perfect so I'm gonna have to kind of like you know, do it as I go. So we're here at Odyssey Woodworks. And I broke the camera, the lens. See you later, buddy. We'll get a new lens for you. It's Father's Day 2018. I'm working on the bus today. Not a lot is getting accomplished. This is the highlight of my day so far. Open face, ginormous chicken salad <laughs> sandwich. Cutest baby ever. This is my favorite. <laughs> 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 Beautiful wife with a little bit of mayonnaise on her lip. <laughs> Are you surprised? No. <laughs> all right, so I got my panels all laid out approximately where they're going to go. Obviously, I have to cut some of them down to size and cut little wheel, wheel squares out of them. So I'm just going to start with whatever is easiest and work my way to the front. I got this wheel wall cover laid out and then I made a plunge cut. And now I'm going to use a pull saw to just clean up the edges. This piece fits great. And I also did the Craig jig on the bottom. And then I laid out every single <laughs> screw hole, which was kind of time consuming. But I like uniformity. Even though this is all gonna be fairly invisible, it's also gonna be uniform in the meantime. I have to look at it for the next, who knows how long. Well, I was reading my tape measure and it was supposed to be a 59 and I was reading it upside down and I brought it to 56 and now I'm three inches short. 
that's an honest mistake, right? Everybody's done that, right? This is so we can keep you company. Oh my gosh, thanks so much for coming out here. <laughs> well, there's a lot of moving parts to this piece. Makes me glad that I did it last. I did not do a great job of filming once my camera lens became broken, but I did get these wall panels finished. There's some imperfections, but luckily they're all gonna be pretty much hidden. And I learned a lot when I was putting these in. I Craig screwed the bottom of the panels into the floor, and then every 12 inches, I've screwed them into the furring strips. Now this, this will all be hidden, you know, kitchen cabinets, fridge, bunk beds, etc. But when you get to the visible parts, I switch to trim screws. I'm probably going to be filling these in with wood filler, so it'll just look like a clean panel. It took a lot of time. It took way more time than I expected. That's everything in a bus conversion so far. So it's not surprising, but it's done. And I'm really happy about that. I'm sorry about the lack of filming. Mad, mad.